Hello YouTubers, Kreasel here with another episode of Adventures in Casual Gaming. Uh, this is Let's Show episode number five. And what I'm going to show here is a little bit of uh, self, what do you call that, grandizing, uh, self-promotion. I have created a script for use with computers or turtles, let's say computer craft, but it's primarily for turtles in my instance, and it's called Do. It's available at turtlescripts.com, and the link will be below. Uh, let's take a look at the program, Do. What it is is a command stacker. It allows you to do multiple commands separated by semicolons at the command line. And it uses a few routines that I found around the uh, internet. Uh, one for a uh, tail that pulls the uh, everything off of an error array minus its first element. And then uh, and an explode function, which simulates the explode function from PHP, not like dynamite it takes a string and turns it into an array based on the delimiter and then I made a simple one for implode and and this just because well you know I'm familiar with implode and explode and tail and how they relate to like say basic or Perl or some other language otherwise I could have just you know, glommed on to the idea of table insert and table can combat which basically they're wrappers for so, through various processings of the arguments that you pass, it turns into a sequence of uh, shell run commands that get executed over time. Uh, there will most likely be more advanced features uh, to this or similar commands that will be coming out for this. I'm thinking one of them that's coming to mind is I have the option to say, uh, let's say if I specify this parameter, dash dash save it'll save everything to a file name if provided that way you can execute that instead of typing the command line over and over all the time uh that'll be in the future the future probably being within the next week i'll add some either more functionality to this program or additional programs that provide that functionality because you know let's face it uh when you start to collect a lot of programs on your turtles or computers like here I have a lot. I have several directories, uh, build floors, mining, ROM, roofs, that have various programs under them for doing various things. And then, of course, I have all these other programs, uh, BD, Boar Dig, Cane Farmer, Digit, Farmer, FL, Flip, you know. And you'll see I'm going to use this right now to uh, take my turtle and I'm going to tell it to go down and deconstruct this uh, base here. Which I believe is. This is my uh, K2 base. And it's going to come down. I'm going to tell it to come down and bore all this out. And then bore that. And providing an easy way for me to pick everything up. So let's go ahead and issue those commands. So the first thing he has, he's going to have to turn right. He's going to have to forward. And he needs to go down four. And then he needs to, uh, well, maybe he needs to go back to then right, then forward, and down four. And then I'm going to have a board for there. So instead of executing the sequence of commands, it's just, uh, you know, individually, I can just cram it all on the one line so let's back up two and now he's going to turn right and now he's going to go forward and now he's going to go down four and now I want him to turn all the way around and then I want him to uh, bore uh, the distance will be length 2, width 3, height 4, and let me see, and that'll bring him back to the start position, so now I'm, I'm going to want him to go up, and then let me 
verify it. So it's going to go up from there, and it one, two, three, and then it needs to come here. Okay. So it goes forward three, left, and then forward, and then right, and then dig forward two, then right, and then dig forward two again, then up, and flip, then dig forward, uh, let me see, one should be, no, it needs to be two. And I'm pretty sure I screwed this up. I'm just trying to do everything from memory. And uh, let's see, then down, then left, then dig forward. And that should be the last one. See, basically it's a program at the command line. It's going to do all the stuff for me, provided I've uh, typed it all in correctly. So far, so good. And I'm sure you, now that you've seen this in action, you can imagine all kinds of things that you could possibly do uh, using computer craft and or turtles combined with my uh, do program. Okay, so I should have just dug forward one. But not bad, look, I've actually collected everything there pretty quickly. And that's it. Not bad. Okay. That's it. That's my showcase for the new do command. And uh, over and out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.